Now, when you move out to 15 and 16, as that overall new, uh, used vehicle pool increases, and uh, we continue to have a large influx of lease returns, that, that poses a bit of a challenge. And in 14, for certain manufacturers who pulled out completely from leasing, and there's been a lot of news about like Chevrolet and Ford, Hyundai, Kia, where we know those brands are going to have a big, huge percentage increase in lease returns, um, they'll have to really coordinate with their dealers to be able to um, make, ensure that prices remain strong for them, ensure that um, at, as they get the vehicles back, they're remarketing them effectively, uh, they're getting them to the right dealers in the right markets, and they're utilizing any tool that they can to keep prices strong on those models. Definitely much different than what we experienced in 13 and 12, where there is virtually no uh, lease returns available for resale. So we, we see it as a positive in 14, something to keep your eye on. But as we get to 15 and 16, it's definitely something that will start influencing used vehicle prices.